right. This is Miriam Nunez Valdovinos. It is March 1st, 2023. It is 12, 10 p.m. I am sharing a visual of what the agent told me to file under the Alex Padilla U.S. Senator for California Agency Assistance Form. As you can see, I have filled out all of the cells with my information. And then I went ahead and described the office I have already reached out to. What can I assist you with? And I said the following. Good afternoon, Senator Padilla. I am reaching out to your office upon speaking with one of your local state agents who deferred the call to my problem to the San Diego office. The person at the San Diego office decided to hang up the phone when I called upon asking for support with the problem. They then started playing a recorded message that ignored the call. The administration at Long Beach City College has been harassing me and enabling the abuse I have been enduring from various community members and students despite living in a blue state with progressive policies in place for DACA recipients and undocumented students. Upon the unjust requests, I have had to excessively hear how people want me to please stop attending school. Let me put that on there. To please stop attending school, fail my classes, not exceed expectation, drop out, or be deprived of exercising my right to work. Upon the beginning of the semester, I was asked a series of questions by a professor who asked the following questions as a required homework assignment. Do you have any concerns about your ability to complete this course? If so, what are those concerns and what assistance do you need? Are there any major life events occurring for you during this term that you are al already aware of, i.e. birth of a child, wedding, etc.? As your instructor, is there anything I can do to help you to be successful in the course? The university harassed me again with another meeting in relation to my answers to the abuse falsely stating that I had violated the student conduct outlined by the university, given that I provided sincere responses that I had even placed to local authorities, legislators, and the Federal Bureau of Investigation as clear violations to my rights. I am federally clear to work, live, study in the country, given the policies that state and constituents voted for. It does not make sense to me why I'm being a target of hatred if I have recorded visual and audio evidence of all of the abuse. Copies of the responses to the professors were as follows. Name. Good evening, Professor Hancock. My name is Miriam. I will be your student in spring of 2023. I look forward to learning from you. How long have you been attending Long Beach City College? I have been attending Long Beach City College since 2020. I stumbled upon the program following the prompt of a staff member at CSULB. Originally, I was only scheduled to take one class to return to CSULB, but I found that the professors were excellent and I decided to continue taking courses. How technology savvy are you? Can you upload, download, and save? I'm an expert. Have you taken an online class before? I have taught online courses in higher education and K through eighth grade. I have also been a student when I was an undergraduate student. Do you have any concerns about your ability to complete this course? If so, what are those concerns and what assistance do you need? I currently do not have any concerns. My only observations in the past have been due to anti-immigrant hatred in a state that votes blue and has sanctuary policies. Other than that, I'm capable of completing the course. Are there any major life events occurring for you during this term that you are already aware of? I am still being a victim of hatred via deprivation of employment. I would say that inhibits my ability to com concentrate sometimes. I take reasonable pauses, but complete assignments on time. I'm hoping I can resume work and complete the semester to meet the developmental needs as a 30, 40 year old, year, as a 34 year old. As your instructor, is there anything I can do to help you be successful in this course? I would appreciate if you were to intervene to ensure that I'm not being inhibited from participating in the course, especially if I'm federally clear to live, work, and study in the country. Thanks for your note, Miriam. It sounds like you're ready to go for the semester, Michelle. I then replied to her and I said, good evening, Professor Hancock. I feel like I'm prepared for the, to take the class. In fact, I'm always enthusiastic. The problem I have encountered is that I'm ill-received, persecuted, or threatened. It makes learning unpleasant, and it is my favorite activity. A lot of things have happened in a short amount of time. Resuming in-person classes at Long Beach City College was a living nightmare, to say the least. I'm hoping that I can continue to take classes remotely until I'm able to resume my academic studies at Cal State Long Beach. I'm applying to a second master's program. Both my American brother and I have had the privilege of teaching there. My cousins who later immigrated into the country have also earned their degrees there, whom are both Americans, by the way, because they were born in America, because their parents immigrated over here so that they could be born in America, then they took them back to Mexico. Eventually, it was unhealthy to live over there, and they came to the United States. 
Where was I? Mm, you can imagine how insulting it is for me to live in a perpetual cycle of severe harassment and violence. I'm truly hoping that students, adults, and anyone else who has deemed me their skateboard, their scapegoat or target will refrain from harassing me. It is detrimental to my sanity and overall well-being to be an incessant target of hatred. You can imagine how I'm feeling given that I was raised in the country since I was six months old. I'm truly hoping that Biden and the state voting blue can live up to its democratic standards as opposed to walking out of the house, working or going to school to feel like I'm a living, like I'm in a living torture chamber while being in the quote unquote free world. I hope that you can assist me in sharing that I don't have any intention to leave and federally, the government has no reason to kick me out. You may want to remember that we advocated with pacifism to the Supreme Court to keep our right to stay in the country, and we won both times. Currently, based on my training, the abuse I am enduring is meeting the early onset criteria of a potential hate crime. I'm hoping that I and my family, the majority now being Americans, are not faced with any further incidents of hatred. I appreciate you so much for reaching out to me and for caring about me. Most importantly, for being willing to assist me in blocking hatred. Good speaking points to counter any hatred. My family is American. I live in a mixed status family, majority American. I have lived here since I'm six months old. It is confirmed that I'm the youngest DACA recipient living in the U.S. I'm federally approved to live, work, and study in the country, especially my home state. If I were to enter a bona fide marriage, I would be able to become a legal permanent resident in six months and the United States citizen in three years. I have a legal entry. I precede the DACA recipient generation and that I went to a four-year institution with other Americans who never harassed me for being undocumented. I am human. Thank you so much for reading and caring. Sincerely, Miriam. The school has further harassed me with scheduling a meeting where they're going to decide if they need to take action, even though I was sincerely sharing the information relating to my experience while living in the state of California. I have evidence to support the incessant abusive encounters I have been a victim of across multiple environments. The evidence has been recorded both video and audio. I have it both. I need a representative to intervene and to be with, there with me tomorrow to make the harassment stop. Is there a person from your office that can attempt to support me? Thank you so much in advance. I hope to hear from you soon. Sincerely, Miriam. And I'm selecting next and I'm sending it. I have already sent the same thing via the direct email. I'm going to receive a copy of what I just shared. It's all documented. It's official. It's on there and it's recorded. So then now I'm going to download it. It is now downloaded. I have a copy of it. It's been filed. And I will put LBCC admin harassment and case casework, and then Senate Padilla, Senator Padilla, desktop and save. Cool. Now it's saved to my desktop. Let's make sure that it's on the desktop. It's right there. Okay. Now let me open this again. Let's see what else it says. Confirm and submit. Confirm and submit. It is now officially filed. Thank you. And that's normally when I send you a copy of it. I now have a recorded of the screen. It saves me time. I don't have to keep taking all of these pictures. Now you have evidence of it. It's on there. It's the truth. This is the email I sent with the professor. I don't understand. Look, you can look at the original one. Uh, Hancock, Hancock, Michelle, where are you? Mm, greeting video. Where is it? That was something else. She didn't put something that she needed to put in the beginning of the semester. Send a note to Michelle. There's the note. That's the email. She deliberately requested that we send it to her personal email, which I did. I replied. She sent an email. I sent her another email thinking that she was going to be supportive. Thanks for your note, Miriam. It sounds like you're ready to go for the semester. And I was like, well, no, no, look, I have all of these things to tell you. If Just make sure that you help me. What am I met with? The stupid letter from the administration ambushing me and telling me that I had violated the code of conduct. Failure to comply with directives. Failure to comply with proper directives of district personnel as per directives on your signed steps to success contract. 
all of which I have evidence for. Evidence for the harassment, recorded evidence. I've talked to the police. More often than not, they have been citing. Let me turn this on. More often than not, they have been siding with people that have harassed me. The harassment, the harassment has been as follows. There's lewd conduct. They moan within my person, men, women. It produces lubrication without my consent. That's sexual harassment. Civil harassment. If I'm typing and they try to manipulate or inhibit me from being able to type or do my homework, that's civil harassment. That's also a crime. It's a crime to be sexually harassing me. It's a crime to be civilly harassing me, to be verbally harassing me, to coming near my person for any reason and harassing me. It is a crime. It's a crime across multiple spaces and I need it to stop. I'm recording it so that you have evidence of it. Because tomorrow when I go to that meeting and I don't have someone to be in the meeting with me, I will need to ensure that I record it so that you can see the severity of the problem. Thank you for listening.